What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender free tool tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a tool that allows you to quickly extract textures from images, um, specifically perspective images, and create them into flat textures for Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so one of the issues that you can run into when bringing textures in off of images or using images for textures is you can run into the issue where they have perspective transformations that are kind of messing everything up. Um, so this is a tool that we can download for free that's going to allow us to fix that and then take those images and basically create a flat perspective correct. Uh, corrected image that we can use as a texture in Blender. So this tool is called Texture Ripper. Um, it's a part of the Shoebox tool set um, that we're going to download. And so the first thing you're going to need to do is this is an Adobe Air function. So you're going to need to go to the link in the notes down below. So Adobe Air was actually acquired by Harman. So you can download Adobe Air from this website, which I will link to in the notes down below. So I've downloaded it and haven't been having any issues with it. So we'll link to that. So first off, you need to download and run Adobe Air. And then you need to download the shoebox tools. So specifically, we're going to want to go to this shoebox page and you're just going to want to download and install this file right here. And so then when you run this file, what that's going to do is that's going to allow this to basically open up this window that just kind of sits on your desktop on your computer. So I'm using a Windows computer to do this. I haven't tested it on anything else. But what we want to do is let's go find an image. So in this case, I just found an image off of Unsplash right here, which I can link to in the notes down below. Um, it's just an example image, nothing super special about it. But what we want to do is we just want to activate the shoebox tools and then you want to jump over from sprites into bitmaps and specifically in bitmaps you want the option for texture ripper and so what we want to do is notice how when you mouse over this this says to paste image so what we want to do is we want to i'm going to use the snipping tool you can use any tool that you want but i'm going to use the snipping tool in order to take a screenshot of this and then we're just going to copy it so what you could do is you could save a copy of this image on your computer, then right click on it and click copy as well. But when I click on copy and then click right here, what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring my image in like this. So now my image is set up where I can start adding points on it. So you can just click to add points. So what I wanna do is I wanna scroll in like this and I just wanna single click. I'm gonna move my mouse down. I'm gonna click again like this. Then I'm going to move my mouse over to set another point and then we'll move our mouse again in order to set our final point. And so I'm just going to click right here. Well, notice what that's going to do is that's going to take this wall and it's going to create an image of it over here. So notice how this is completely flattened out on this side right here. And notice how you can adjust this. And when you adjust this, the image over here is adjusting as well. All right. So now I'm going to come in here. I'm going to add another point right here. And we're just going to do the same thing on this side. So we'll come in here, click on this point, and then we'll scroll over here, and we'll set our faces over here. So notice what that does is that's going to take that image over here and it's going to add it to our textures as well. And so you can do this as many times as you want on this scene. So for example, let's say I wanted to, and I don't really want to do this, but you could come in here and you could add like the sidewalk if you decided that you wanted to do that or anything else if you have a more complex image. I'm good for right now, so I'm just gonna click on the button for save textures. And so it's gonna ask us to pick a location for this and I'm just gonna call this building sides and click on save. And so if we open that up and take a look at it, it's gonna look something like this right here. So basically what you've got is you've got an image that has both of these images in here. All right, so now we're just gonna create a simple cube inside a blender. So I'm just gonna do a shift A, add a cube. I'm just gonna move it over, up, and then I'm gonna scale it out. So I just did an S and then a shift Z in order to scale this along X and Y and not Z. So then we're just gonna move this over and we'll probably come in here make it a little bit taller. So something like this. We're just looking for a shape right now that we can apply those images to. So I am gonna jump in and do a apply rotation and scale right here. But now we've got that image file, we can bring it in and apply it to our object. 
So you can jump over into UV editing and I'm just gonna take this whole thing. Um, I'm gonna type A, I'm just gonna right click and I'm gonna do a cube projection on this. So notice how now I can come in here and I can find um, these different shapes and move them around to where the image, to affect where the image is gonna be applied on the face. But all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna create a material with that image. So I'm just gonna do a new material. We can jump over into shader mode. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a shift A and I'm gonna add an image texture node right here. We'll drag the color into the color and we'll open that image. So we'll bring that image in. And then back in UV editing mode. I'm gonna assign that material to these sides. And on the top, I'm just gonna add another material. We'll just make it a white material and just assign it to the top because I don't want that to show up on the top. But now all we have to do is just click, uh, select our sides and then come over into the UV editor and just uh, move these so that they align. So notice how as I adjust this over in the UV editor, it's adjusting the way that it's placed on this face as well. And so one thing that I'm noticing is this is on here backwards. So we should have this texture over here. So I'm just gonna select this face and do an A, S, X, and I'm gonna type in a value of negative one. So basically I'm just scaling that so that it's flipped. So now I've got one corner of this face in here. Well, now we can come in here and we can move the other one as well. So we just do the same thing, we move our points until they align with the corners of the image. like this. And again, same problem on this one. So we're just gonna do an A, S, X, negative one in order to flip that. So now what we've got is we've got a building in here that matches up with the image that we had inside of our photo. So if we were to jump back and look at that photo real quick, you can see that we're able to apply those images that we pulled off of here really fast. Then we could come in here and do some other things like use the knife cut tool in order to add some depth and other things like that. I'm not too worried about that for right now, but this is a great tool for getting those images so you can use them in Blender. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you need more information, if you've used Texture Ripper. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.